Hello. Thank you all for tuning in, for being here. I'm Dr. Alicia Kalos. I'm here to share with you about the exciting new virtual support group series that'll be made available to MD Anderson Cooper patients beginning in February of 2021. The group is called Surviving and Thriving. First, let me share with you about these groups, and after that, I'll be eager to hear about and respond to any questions that you have. So I'll be conducting the first segment of this presentation in English, and the second segment will be in Spanish. So about these groups, we'll be offering a series of groups for women and men who have been diagnosed with cancer. The groups will be offered in English and Spanish. They'll be designed to support cancer survivors in their journeys to overcome sexuality and relationship concerns related to cancer, cancer treatment, and life after cancer treatment. This means that any Cooper patient who is currently involved in cancer care, cancer aftercare, or who already completed treatment would be welcomed to participate. So as the person who will be facilitating these groups, let me tell you a bit more about myself. I am a bilingual licensed psychologist and certified sex and relationship therapist with a specialty in health, cancer, and chronic illness. I'm passionate about helping survivors to thrive and live life to the fullest. My hope is that these groups will be a place where survivors can talk openly about sensitive topics, gain new tools, and ultimately leave feeling empowered. My hope is also that fellow group members will be invaluable sources of support and strength. So some of the sexuality and relationship concerns that we plan to address in these groups are changes in body image, changes in feelings of attractiveness, changes in feelings of masculinity or femininity, fertility changes, physical and emotional changes, changes in sexual feelings, experiences or sexual performance, pain or discomfort during sexual activity, communication with a partner about sexual changes, and that would include a current partner or potential future partner, negotiating intimacy with or without sexual intercourse, and working with a partner to overcome challenges. I want to express that Participants will be invited to share or bring up any other relationship or sexuality concerns that they may have. This group is really going to cover a really broad range of topics. Because when we think about quality of life, our relationships, especially our closest relationships, and our sexual well being are such big parts of that. So, this is meant to look at anything that affects our intimate relationships and sexual health. For your safety, comfort, and convenience, we'll be currently offering these groups through a HIPAA secure virtual platform. And then many people will ask who is a good fit or who would be appropriate for these groups. To give you an idea of the cancer diagnoses that are most often directly linked to sexual and relationship concerns, those cancers are identified as prostate cancer, breast, colorectal, bladder, or really any pelvic cancer. That being said, any cancer diagnosis could potentially affect our relationships and sexual health. That's because most often the cancer itself is not what's affecting the sexual experience. More so, it's the emotional consequences on the survivors and partners, as well as the physical side effects of treatment. The changes, especially when it comes to the physical side effects, have been found to many people experience them during and immediately after treatment, though as many as 50% of patients have reported that they experienced those physical changes long-term. From my perspective, it's appropriate to learn about and talk about relationship and sexual challenges at any point in the treatment process, whether before treatment, during, or after. Many times patients describe wanting to get that information ahead of time, and then they may wait until they're ready to use it or apply it. These groups are gonna offer information from an expert in the field, 
and the most up-to-date research. The groups will also have a, or offer a chance to ask questions to the group facilitator or to your other group members. The chance to share and process experiences. I'm also gonna provide anyone who participates with some do-it-yourself as well as professional options to overcome challenges. By do-it-yourself, I mean specific tools and strategies that you can take to the bedroom on your own or with a partner. And by professional, I mean couples and sex therapy options, be a range, exploring the range of mental health options that are available, as well as exploring the range of medical interventions that are available. And of course, the opportunity to learn from other survivors. Now, I'd like to open the floor for you to share any thoughts, feelings, reactions, questions that you have.